A rare and aggressive infection landed a youth pastor in the ICU. Five days later, his wife is giving birth to their third child. As CBS 58's Michelle Fiore spoke to a leader at Lakewood Baptist Church as their community prays for recovery. Morning. Welcome to Lakewood. That's Jonas Scott just two months ago. Easter weekend, the youth pastor and his wife Sarah were due any day with their third baby when Sarah found herself seeking emergency care for her husband. It was a sudden uh, shock. He was here the Wednesday night previous and ministering to the teens and the kids in the way that he always does. I think fun is maybe one of the best ways to describe him. He's just a fun-loving guy. Scott's caring bridge page says what began as a strep infection spread fast, leading to septic shock. Now he's fighting for his life. Since last Friday, he's been uh, not uh, able to communicate. He's been um, uh, in the ICU and uh, hooked up to all kinds of machines and they can't have visitors because he, he's in such a vulnerable sp spot. Five days into his hospital stay, Sarah gave birth to their baby girl. Baby and mom are healthy and so we're just, we're thrilled that God has answered those prayers. But with so many unknowns about Scott's condition, it's a stressful time, especially for the children at Lakewood Baptist who know him best. This is giving parents an opportunity to talk about the realities of life with their kids. Children's Church Chime was dedicated to making cards for them and to showing their love for them. A GoFundMe is raising money for the couple's expenses. This week, Jonah's undergone multiple extensive surgeries to remove the infection. We've not heard the doctors use uh, like real certain language about uh, recovery yet. And so that's really why we're continuing in prayer. Personally shocked by, by this, um, it, it's reminding us of the brevity of life and how fragile we are. Now the Brickfield Chick-fil-A is holding a fundraiser for Pastor Scott April 11th from 5 to 7 p.m. A portion of the receipts will go toward the Scott family. Live in the newsroom, I'm Michelle Fiore, CBS 58 News.